Welcome back to the stoop. Welcome back to the stoop football fans. It's your boy Lolo. What up? It's your boy Lolo. I'm trapped in Manhattan, yo. Um, but listen, I shouldn't be the one being arrested. It should really be Newcastle being arrested because they just stole Chris Wood off of Burnley. Uh, Mark, Mark, are you there? Hi. Come get me. Hi. I am there. Oh, man, you think I got that kind of money? I don't know what you did. I don't know what. How much? How many cigarettes did you have to trade for that beer? I think he just spilt it on his. I think he just spilt it on the warden's computer. Anyway, it's all in good fun. Chris Wood stealing or being stolen by Newcastle. What's What's going on? That was surprising, right? I want to know what, what, what Burnley was doing. <laughs> I don't even know, man. Um, listen, I've been working all day, man. Thank you for keeping me up up to date with all the shit that was going on all day. I appreciate the text. Um, what's going on, Ben Island, BX Gunner, Mr. Tom? Who else is there? Jimmy, Bremer's Ghost. Good to see all you guys here on a late night. Um, but uh, is this a police academy spoof? <laughs> Yes, BX. So glad that you could join us, man. Um, no, I'm I'm just working in Manhattan today, and I just couldn't make it out in time. I'm actually still exporting some videos for, for a client, but I wanted to make sure that we could do at least a small show or, you know, whatever we can do. So we uh, we're going to talk. Whenever we can. So it was either talk about South- Southampton actually scoring four goals. Eh. Brentford hey, being but bad. I tell you, man. Eh. Remember how? Remember? Remember where Southampton was a, like a month ago? Almost at the bottom I would of the say table. You remember where 11th, Brentford was a month they're ago? They're in eleventh place right now, and maybe this game that I'm thinking that the Wolves are playing on Saturday against Southampton, maybe that's not going to be a cupcake game anymore. It's not. I I'd agree with you. It's definitely not going to be a cupcake cupcake game for you anymore. They look one thing. Um, I actually did watch the match while I was editing, but um, uh, one thing about Southampton that they look different was they look like they're having fun. Um, yeah. Before yeah. it used to be like a beleaguered uh, Ward Prowse who's like a fine, I'll mm. score the goals. Right, but, um, right. Outside no, of the even, match against Arsenal, they've been crushing it. I mean, they beat West looked Ham. good again. Yeah. Um, che Adams came off the bench. And that goal yeah. was awesome. Armstrong yeah. looked good. All of a sudden, Bednarik, it looks like whoa. Bednarik is scoring. You know like, that that uh, the the uh, set piece was money by Prouse to give oh, him the, the one 0 lead. It was just that like, dude. It how have long been can any he better. stay? How long can uh, Ward Prouse stay at Southampton? That's just that's just unbelievable. I mean. I, I just well, let's see what they do in the off season, and I'm not talking the winter break. I'm talking the summer. Yeah, yeah. you know, because I'm um, sure they still got some of that Danny Ings money. Yeah, I mean, who they fucking spend it on? Yeah, I don't. I don't, know, I don't think they spend anybody. Um, but listen, I I, I agree with you. It's not going to be a walk in the park for you guys for Wolves when when they come. Uh, there you go. Famous words. Ben says, "Oh, in in Naji's famous words, who he called Nanny." Nani. In no, Nani's famous word, I can't, I can't see the wolves. No, it's too late, Ben. He is now Nani. Uh, Nani. Um, oh, poor Nani. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ward Prowse is the best Saints player since Matt Letizia. That is huge. That is huge because um, Southampton is is 
fucking famous for having really good players that uh, get bought up. I'm talking uh, mm. half a Liverpool, you know, Virgil van Dijk, Sadio Mane, all sorts of people. Um, that's their problem is they get really good, talented players. They bring them up and then they, they get rid of them. Well, they sell, they them. sell them for, for cash. Um, <laughs> but it's been working you know, and- anyway. Uh, speaking of cash, I want to talk about new cash as you call them, Sandcastle. Mm-hmm. Um, Newcastle. Yeah, and Letizia wa- was loyal to the Saints. Um, uh, he he didn't always have a great uh, great time there. I, re- I remember watching something about uh, Matt Letizia talking about how he was he thought he was done there and wasn't even going to get a start. And then the next day he got uh, he got uh, the armband. No, mm-hmm. he, he had like a great – I don't remember. Anyway, Mark, if you've never looked up Matt Letizia, look I've, up some I've of heard, his goals. I've heard of him, and I will I will definitely research that. Look up that. some of his but goals. I think, you know, with uh, you know Chris Chris Wood, they pay – Newcastle paid $25 million for Chris Wood. Twenty five million. Now, is that what it is that 20, what it was? I believe it's twenty five million and they pay and then there was also an additional release clause. I, I'm not really sure. I haven't read too too deep into it because I found out about this around dinner time. But the question is that I have is if Chris Wood is worth twenty five mil, what's Traore worth? Yo, it's the Newcastle. It's the Newcastle price right oh, now. Oh, so they're just like they're pumping it. They're yeah, just what like, they Look, what do you want? What do you what do you want for him? He's worth. You got to think right oh, look, now. We'll give you like, twenty five. We'll give you thirty. No, you got to think right now. Like like I put on the on the thumbnail, um, is, or on the thumbnail on the title is Burnley dead? Like Burnley, it, it look Chris Wood is probably what like a fifteen million dollar striker at best. Yeah, but yeah, there you go. It's the Saudi premium price, as Mister Tom says. That's the thing to get him. Burnley's in a freaking relegation battle with these guys. Right, right. Why the hell would you sell well, your your main man, your main striker? So that well, may, and, for cash. and with 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 that said, it makes me wonder what is there a move that Burnley is about to make? Does Burnley have a move? Yeah, they you know, have to. Like, remember have when? To. Remember when 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 Aston uh, Villa got you know sold Grealish? What they mm-hmm. had, and nobody saw Ings going yeah, to yeah. Ings to, in the to wings. Villa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and knows? Ben Island's totally right. They got Trippier on a bargain. So actually, if you look at it, uh, Trippier for 12, uh, Woody for, for 15, 25, that's 37. 25 is what I saw, yeah. So that's 37 for, for two quality players. Let's be honest. Mm-hmm. Two quality players. Uh, the the big issue I have with Chris Wood going there is they have Callum Wilson. They are very He's injured similar. for the next two and a half months. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. This is this is that. this is why this is this is why I, <laughs> I think love they it, went man. out to get him. <laughs> you know, football, football, football. Come on, Mark. Loud. Uh, football, football, uh, nonsense, uh, banter, banter, banter. <laughs> On the stoop, greatest <laughs> show ever. I watch it all the time. <laughs> That's awesome. Good to see you, Ben. Uh, by the way, Ben is now the um, official head of the Arizona Leeds fan club. Um, Fantastic. Yeah. So um, he actually said, he sent me a message today saying that. Uh, Leeds United contacted him and was like, now that you're the official uh, Arizona Leeds representative, what would you like different? And he was like, y'all need more Lolo in your life. (laughs) Just Lolo? (laughs) Just Lolo? This show. This show. This show. (laughs) This show. (laughs) Uh, Reenact the finale of Jingle All the Way for Ben's Wife. Oh, that sounds like Uh... something Ben needs to be reenacting for Ben's Wife. (laughs) <laughs> um yeah bobby i'm right there with you that now now i just found out from mark that's where i get my news from 
<laughs> that um, that uh, what's his name? Callum Wilson is out for two and a half months. So maybe there's that. But Callum Wilson wasn't getting any service. He, he was, was right up until he like just before he was injured, it was starting to have? come together. How many goals does he have? You know? I like, don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, uh, you know, uh, an individual of, of Wilson's quality is gun is gonna get at least attention, you know. But hey, we'll see. I don't know. You know, I mean, New Newcastle is doing exactly what we thought they would be doing, which is coming out of yep. jumping out of the gate, running and 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 flaunting flaunting money like a Yo. NFL cornerback at the strip bar. Wow, what's you're, going you're, on, Cantac? You're muted, Mr. Matt. Did somebody there say strip go. club? Yes. Strip yes. club. Did somebody say Yo. Uh Georgia quarterback for strip clubs? Anyway, go ahead. Oh my god. Yo, you got that new Arsenal kit. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. it looks good. <laughs> the white on white. Good. Yeah. It's actually it's yeah. actually tie dye. But it just doesn't come up. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so, uh, there's a. I'm, we never even talked. We didn't even really talk about the white the white kit issue. Um, good to see you, Cantac. By the way, thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you. you too. But we we didn't really talk about that. Like, if you're going to fight against knife crime, why, why do you get a white exactly. shirt? Well, it's so you can see where the blood stains are. Oh, I was stabbed right here. <laughs> yeah, Mark, Mark, exactly. Unbelievable. People oh, someone's still, someone's still mad. Unbelievable. Someone's still mad. Unbelievable. I re- obviously, like, there's only one reason we would wear all white, like Spurs, and that was to show where we get fucking stabbed. But, I, you know. It, it, they're cool jerseys, man. They were cool fucking they were, jerseys. They were really, they were really great dirt jerseys to lose in. They were certainly not lucky. No, you and know, they, but like, they were so like, tight though. They were so good looking that it was like, and these are the ones that go out to Nottingham Forest. But in the, in the same respect, they were up for it, and they wanted it because you know. Yeah, I thought um, I, we talked about it yesterday. Well, well, what, a, what a dick was... move, though. But what a dick move by Arsenal. They're like, we've decided we're going to do our no red campaign playing Nottingham Forest at home. Well, Who yeah, wears red? That's, shithouse. that's fucking that's shithousery, fun. and I'm all for it. What I'm not so for. So we won is that. A... We won that. Battle. No, but what I'm not for, and what I'm not for is Adidas saying we're not doing it for the women's team either, though. Like, that's. I like it. I love shit house rape. Fuck not him for us. Let's go all white. That's great. We lose. We we deserve to lose, clearly. It was a fuck all performance. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Awful. So, we all know that. So why not so why not spend the money? Instead of spending all that money on, on those shirts, just spend that same amount of money to buy all the kids who don't have knives knives. Because the only thing that stops a bad guy with a knife is a good guy with a knife. I mean, I mean, yeah, bro. Ah, uh, spoken like a true okay. American. I'm Thank just you. saying. Like, Thank you very much. This, that's the a last hill. Time I checked, that's still a hill. part of America. That's a big hill. It's a big, big <laughs> fucking hill. Anyway, you know? uh, Cantag, what do you think about uh, uh, Andy Carroll, Chris Woody, Andy oh, Carroll? I thought Andy Carroll was the big move this transfer season. To be honest. Going he's back, not to going Newcastle. anywhere, man. Bro, he's like, but he's not going to Newcastle. Definitely, but he's he was like, oh. What I'm reading is he's definitely going to Newcastle. Oh man, him, Alexi Sanchez, Willian, they're gonna have this team of like they're gonna be the the anti Arsenal this year with only players over thirty. They're no, less susceptible to COVID. It was the best. English Premier Team from 2009 is all going to be on Newcastle. It's going to be fucking amazing. <laughs> and they're going to try like, and get Arteta to play. Right, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, 
Anyway, uh, so so listen, let me ask you guys, does this completely sort of, uh, f- not this move in particular, but the moves that Newcastle is making, clearly, we all knew this was going to happen, that in, in January they're going to start making some moves. Um, uh, does this put Newcastle and Burnley, does this kind of flip their positions, do you think? Because, I mean, Burn- Burnley's having a hard time scoring right now anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Tarkovsky is one of their big best but, scorers, and he's a defender. Yeah. Ben Mee gets a couple oh. here and there, but, uh, you Who's know. Who's also I, a defender. <laughs> right. That is correct. Thus, I, you know. Uh, no, you know, I think, you know, Chris Wood being, being, being shipped off, I- I'd like to see what they do. You know, it, do they have someone si- ready to ready to go? If not, then yeah, they're 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 kind of they shot themselves in the in the crotch. in the dice in the, in in, the they dice. shot themselves in the wood. You don't oh. shoot yourself <laughs> in the dice. The dice shoots you. <laughs> Come on, uh, Jimmy. Jim, Jimmy says uh, if we're going to talk about the cup, then can we talk about Andy Colson at Barnsley? He scored a beauty and as a prospect, I would love to see at Leeds. I know nothing about this fella, this young yeah, fella. Neither. Don't know anything nothing. either. Um, so. uh, what about, what about, uh, did you guys see the, the Porto match where the coach, the manager puts his son on at like the 90th minute or something like that. And he goes and scores the game winning goal. The celebration he has the kid is like doesn't know what to do. He's running around. All of his teammates are trying to hug him and like kiss him and everything. He's like trying to find his dad, who's the manager of Porto. Uh, is runs up. The dad starts smacking him in the face and the back of the head. You, it's all love, but you could see, oh, 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 and the kid is like, he's like, I'm never <laughs> scoring it. again. Never scoring again. <laughs> um, That's what you get for imagine, not scoring twice. Fuck your dad. Imagine you get your first minutes. Your first minutes. It, it was his debut, and he goes on to score the winner. And his dad's like, "That was going to be the the last time you played, or the first time you played." Like, right? Know what I mean? It's a beautiful moment. It was really cool. Uh, Andy Cole is one of the few Man United players I wish Leeds had signed. His son scored a peach for Barnley. We'll have to check it out. Um, <laughs> your dad's a character, and so are you. Yeah, interesting. So what do you guys think of the, uh, the original question, though? Does this flip-flop, who's in a bigger relegation battle, or, or is it all the same? They're all – they're still in the same boat. I think we'd- they're still both fucked. You know, I mean, they're only both teams are only two points, you know, deep in in relegation. Uh, you know, it can go either way. There's still a lot of season. Both teams, you know, both teams have shown that they're really bad, and both teams have shown that they can still kind of keep pace. So, I guess we'll see. But like I said, I want to know. I want to know what what Burnley has in store for themselves. You know, they they get rid of Chris Wood. They've got to have a plan. They have to have something lined up. Believe you know, in Sean I mean, Dyche, bro. That's it. No, I mean, That's what has their plan been his, for the his, past his, what, his, five years? What has their plan been? I, I, I can't answer that. But they have to have something. They have to have you something think. lined up. You exactly. would think. That's what I'm saying. I'm wanting to see before yeah, I can yeah, make like any. Mark you know, is, Marks, you have to have something. Is like, well, you thought it, and now you're just complaining about that it doesn't come true. So fuck you. I Anyone? don't know, but you know that that's cool. Are you drinking red or white tonight? Come on, man. Red, white, <laughs> man. Oh, Come on, it's got to be white because there's no red on his shirt. Yeah, exactly. exactly. His shirt, his shirt is very clean. <laughs> this is the no blood, man. and it, and his his tongue isn't that purple. <laughs> His face is, though. 
That's messed up. Um, no. So, who do you guys think uh, New Cash will go after next? Man, Andy they're Carroll. going after everybody, aren't they? Mm-hmm. I mean, every, I, I've I've been following a, a, a couple of storylines, but nothing concrete. But I mean, it seems like they're they're linked so with been, everyone across Europe, everyone across the league. Oi? Every storyline except Liverpool being a bunch of fucking cheating cunts. Oh man, you should have been on the show last night. Well, you should have been on the show last night. It would have been the Newcastle oh, uh, Burnley I can't show. Say it I had other things to do. All I'm saying is you can Mark absolutely like, say it. I don't know where to find information on these things. I, I at the time I could have one 24 hours later. It's like you no, know, we but I, we covered it. Now. We covered it. I, you know, I, 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 I can't really say, you know, cause I don't, I don't follow like Reddit arsenal, you know, threads and whatnot, where you get these things that way ahead of time of everybody else. I, I just don't. Oh my God. Yeah. But Mark, when you were like, I mean, I don't know where you're coming from. If, if it comes from I Reddit, I, I don't give a fuck. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find it on the internet and read about it. I can't find it. And I was like, Hey, where do you guys find this shit? And I no. literally just typed in Klopp, false and positive. As did I. From awesome. the horse's mouth. Fantastic. From the horse's Fantastic. Mouth. When it comes to, when, when you know, Cantech, watch our show from last night. You, you, you'll you get all the, all oh, the, yeah, the detail. gory oh, details. Uh-huh. You know, I just don't know what to, to if, if my point was, to what advantage? No, I get it. I, I understand 100%. You know, and I if love, they were false, if, honestly, if they love, were sent out it. on the pitch, if you guys, if they played the match and it turned uh-huh. out that they did have COVID and gave Arsenal COVID, mm-hmm. that is that the alternative? Because if, well, if the league a, is saying a false positive is, is going to be treated as a positive. It's a really weird thing to say, but know, I, I don't know. But 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 that would be the alternative. It was okay. We're gonna you know, you know, we're not sure about the test. We're gonna let him play. You know mm-hmm. what what what's the alternative? What what should have been done? Canceled the game against you. Shrewsbury, you're saying that, you know you're saying that it was to, it was done with malice and deceit. To what end? Mark, they canceled Mark, the listen. game on Thursday and then played the game on Sunday. Like what are we talking about? There's clearly and they something fielded a not. full team. They're like I, these players. Yeah, the if false they positives not play can't the play. Mark, if they didn't go ahead and play the game on Sunday, there's no, no one from Arsenal is saying there's weirdness going on. They play the game on uh, Sunday. You know, what what what, the fuck are what, is our, about? what is Arteta saying about this? What's Arteta saying? Arteta about is it? focused on the next match. No, 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 no. So, so what you're saying it's is he's not saying, Arteta's job. He's saying nothing. Mark, are was, you asking us not Arteta's the voice job. of Arteta? Are you asking us if we're the voice of Arteta? That's insane. Okay, you know that's insane. Not it's insane like, at all. Liverpool was like not we insane. Can't play. I'm asking. I'm asking. Okay. Has, Ar- has, has Arteta has Arteta something. commented on it? That's all I'm asking. If Arteta did comment on it, on it I, I'd be pissed off saying, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, you Mark, need to be so, focused so on was, training. Mark, Mark, what was Jurgen Klopp's comment on it then? What was it? Yeah, you exactly. Tell me. You're, You're the one. You're not even his fucking. It was like, oh, well, we had like a couple false positives two days later. Oh, well, we had a positive and then nothing nothing it's fucking bullshit and basically you get like- can we agree that can we agree that if you are a team and you test you know your 20 30 people and you get 10 positives shouldn't you automatically do another test because that's that's fucking weird you're right you're supposed to do yeah so if it's a false positive Shouldn't they have done it right? Like, they didn't know it was a false positive. How did they find out it was a false positive? Well, they tested a few days later, I guess. But like see, right this is before. all the bullshit where... But, but Cantac, here's the question that the, 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 
one point that Mark and I came to agreement on last night, where which was um, to what end? Do Liverpool fear Arsenal right now in a two leg tie? No. And they gave up home that. advantage on the second leg. So, so to what end? That's that's just where I feel like. Yeah, it's weird. End? Like my initial. Re- response to that was like, oh, they're going to wait out AFCON and whatever, but they're not. Yeah, they're, they're not going to do that. But still, it's like so weirdly right after the City game where... Yeah. It's Hard just done. odd. The whole situation is weird and fucked up, and and the fact that it happened and shouldn't have, it moved our match with who Burnley, I believe, was postponed for 24 hours, which moved uh, another match with Leicester, which moved this match, which moved matches for them. And it's just the dominoes that fall afterwards, right. and then they it go, oh, we fucked anything. up. It did. Like, the only thing it moved was matches for Arsenal, right? Like, we were in line to play I assume play it this moved match. something for Liverpool. I assume it moved no, something course, for Liverpool. Like- <laughs> They were they were the ones that were like, oh no, COVID, and we were the ones that were like, oh no, let's play fucking football, you know, like it it moved the dial for everyone, but not as much for Arsenal, right? Like it was another, it could have been another good performance for Arsenal going into an FA Cup where yeah we did not play the best fucking lineup, but. I don't know. It was just like a weird pause. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like a weird, yeah. like, hey, we'll t- take advantage of this. And then it comes out where it's not that. And we're just sitting here yeah. like, oh, now we have more congestion, like fix your congestion than we mm-hmm. would have had. Yep. Does that mean not like, Mark, that doesn't make sense to you? Clearly. No, I just, it's everybody's in that same boat. But not and, really, and, with know. the exception of City, with the exception of City, and with with the exception of City, they're the only ones that's played every match, right? Well, literally, no, I think not, there's no. two. Like, there's two teams that have played. Chelsea, Chelsea are on on par with that, but it doesn't even matter. It's the, it's the yeah, disingenuousness of like being like, oh, we have all this outbreak, and no, it's false positives. No, it was one. And I know you guys did it last night, and I'm sorry to fucking go back there, but it is what it is, man. Right, like, man. That is what it is. It's very weird that it happened, and and you think that's a fucking rookie rookie thing. Like if if I had a show that I was shooting, and ten of my crew go, oh, sorry, we can't do the show. Well, we're let go, and a new crew is hired and brought in, and we we can fucking piss off uh, if we're not and and never get hired again by that company. So you, as a multi billion dollar organization, you fucked up something so simple like that. And this is this is where uh, Brawley was on, and he was arguing like, who's giving out the test? Why why is it each team? Yeah, it's Dude, did, did Sammy Sosa was Sammy Sosa responsible for for giving himself fucking uh uh you know um like <laughs> hemorrhoid no steroid I was like hemorrhoid test that's a weird test um <laughs> certainly an uncomfortable so, one yeah <laughs> anyway guys uh final minute of the show thank you guys for calling in and thank you um for dealing with me being in a in a different space and and making this show happen anyway i really really appreciate all you guys over in england who who are calling in right now um uh you guys who except the ones play. we don't appreciate except the ones we don't appreciate the ones that aren't watching <laughs> oh <laughs> Uh, he's got new yeah. ones on there. All right. Well, um, fuck you too, John C. <laughs> coming in hot, man. Well, good. Yeah. You got to you got to show up on time next time, and you can have a full thirty minute rant. Thank you, sir. It'll it will it's always, always be internal. I know, I know, I know, guys. <laughs> Trust um, me, I come in. And- <laughs>
as, as much as I can. I promise you I do that. <laughs> that. Get up late and go to bed early? Are you out of your mind? Well, that's no. not me. I don't know about you guys. I'm up till 3 o'clock <laughs> in the morning nearly every morning anyway. If you do a that's show crazy. on the moon at 4 a.m., damn it, we're calling it. Calling into the moon at 4 a.m. <laughs> nice, Mr. Tom. That's what uh, we love about you guys, man. Well, guys, much love to you all. Uh, we'll see what happens with Chris Wood and Kieran Trippier going over to Newcastle, and we'll see who else they decide to uh, purchase from wherever Possibly they decide to purchase. Name. And hopefully some of our teams can uh, start picking up some players as well. And, Mark, hopefully you don't sell the Dama Traore to Spurs like they keep saying is happening. The latest is he's going, he's, he's, he's going to Barca. Going back to Barca? That's what I read today. They can't afford him, dude. They can't afford him. But they can just afford for Anjouris. Anyway, exactly. fellas, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit all those buttons. Uh, we love you guys. Make sure to share the show. Tweet this shit out. Get more people to come and join the Stoop crew. We love you guys. Uh, thank you so much, Director John. Mark, thank you so much for being on the show. Cantac, thank you as well. Uh, and don't forget, uh, Sunday, Sunday's the North London Derby. So I'm uh, making plans to uh, and go stuff. back to Patty's. Um, and yeah, so Cheers. much love to you guys. We'll see you tomorrow at 10 p.m. Peace, y'all. Thank you.